Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everyone, this is coming right off the tutorial for uh, how to calibrate a 3DS um, for Pokemon Black and White 1 or Black and White 2 uh, RNG abuse. So this is just going to be a little demonstration of me uh, applying the RNG abuse knowledge uh, for uh, these games. So this is not going to be a straight up tutorial on how to do it or how to do anything. This is just me showing you that the RNG abuse definitely works. After all our calibration is done, I'm just going to use it to catch a shiny real quick, okay? So, uh, I have searched through some seeds that are shinies and I have found this one. So I copied and pasted it and I put it right here in the main window and I'm going to be going for this shiny hasty slot encounter slot 5 Pokemon, which is probably a Lunatone? It's a Lunatone. No, it's not. It's a Soul Rock who I happen to love. So, I'm just going to go into other settings. I'm going to change the date and time to what the time finder has it uh, to. Again, this is not a strictly tutorial, so it's 9.23.16. I have the date set to that. And then for the time, uh, it wants it at 6.48. I'm setting it to 6.47 because the 08 here, the 08 seconds, means if you type 8 seconds in Eon Timer, it will change it to a minute beforehand. So you're gonna have to uh, wait a whole minute instead of uh, doing it on eight seconds. Like, cause you, it, you can't get out of this menu and then into uh, the game in eight seconds. It's just not possible. The DS takes six seconds to start the game itself up. So start on Eon Timer, start on your DS at the same time. And uh, we get to wait a whole minute together. Let's get out of here. Talk about the RNG views. So like I said, this one is not a strict tutorial um, on how to do any of this stuff. Uh, this is just me showing off how RNG abuse works uh, in this game and showing to you that what I just taught you uh, will work. Uh, all your parameters, if programmed correctly, will yield the shiny when you're using this information here. So. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the starting frame of the game will be 45, but we want to be on frame 46. So what, all we're going to have to do is we're gonna just going to have to uh, save the game once. Uh, once we Im Immediately we're going to load up the game and then we're going to save right away. Uh, that's, just, that's just how you advance a frame without any chat outs on you, because my chat outs are currently in my white one. So starting the game up, I'm not holding any buttons. This is just exactly the same as the calibration process. Uh, no buttons held until the uh, whatever, the Game Freak logo appears. It's the same as the calibration process because, uh, except we're doing it on a different date than today's date. And we, we searched for something specifically. We searched for a shiny value. We wanted a shiny. Again, you can only get a shiny if you have your secret ID. So loading it up, and like normal, I'm going to save once. And the one thing that can happen is I could just miss my uh, my timer zero value here, which would be unfortunate, but that is how it goes with the 3DS. You tend to miss timer zero values randomly because life sucks. Okay, uh, hopefully this is a shiny soul rock. There you go. Proof of concept in action, people. There is a shiny soul rock that I searched for. I would bet a million bucks, that is a hasty nature. So I'm just gonna chuck Ultra Balls at it and hope it doesn't kill uh, <laughs> Smellab here. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. All right, uh, hopefully it doesn't rocks. Okay, well, I am dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I don't have to catch it, all right? I could, uh, it's, it, this being shiny should be proof enough for you guys. Uh, <laughs> oof. It could have Psychic and just also instantly kill my little fungus here. However, I hope I can catch it. So. Alright, it's being a butt. Embargo. Oh no, wait, can I not use Pokeballs now? Wait a minute. Oh no, I can't, okay. I was gonna say, I hope that doesn't affect Pokeballs. That'd actually be hella annoying. Wow, it is being a pain. I'm just going to keep chucking them, guys. Waste all the time I want here. This is just a little addendum video. I'm not worried too much about the length. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> All right. This is getting really silly. I could damage it with this Fungus. I think I have Giga Drain on it, but I think this is just more uh, lazy. Come on. Oh. Okay. Hopefully I can catch it. Shiny Soul Rock actually looks fairly cool, I think. Uh, it's pretty neat, if you ask me. I'm actually going to pause the video. This is actually taking, like, forever. <laughs> Alright, I have caught this stupid soul rock, and we're going to check its nature and its stats to prove to you this is exactly the one the program told me that I would find, and that everything um, is all correct here. Alright, so let's check this out. This is a soul rock. He's a hasty nature. Okay, cool. And let's check his stats. As you can see, there's a little shiny star. He himself looks different if you know uh, what Solrog looks like at all. Uh, we're gonna go in the time finder, check his stats. So he should have 7, 13, 5, 19, 13, 26. So what I'm gonna go to do, let's go to cerebi.net. Actually, I'll Google stat cal gen 5. Alright. So he has a Solrog. Gonna do all this in front of you guys. We got Soul Rock here. Nature, he's hasty. Uh, what's his characteristic? Alert to sounds. Yes, that's what I don't know what his hidden power or his potential are. Uh, his level is 50. A good level. Stats. Let's see here. 133. 106. 82, 69, 76, and 96. That, and calculate individual values. So as you can see here, uh, with the stats I typed in, um, these are the values it could potentially be. And as you see, I get all the 6, 13, 5, 19, 13 and 26. It lines up perfectly. This is the exact soul rock I searched for and found uh, thanks to my RNG abuse. So I appreciate everybody for uh, watching this video and watching my tutorials. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.